Learn how to create an elegant lighting setup for your product renders in Blender. First, I add a light to make a nice rounded spot on the background. You can play with spread to set a desired transition for the spot. Then I put a light on the left side to create a nice smooth gradient on the shiny parts of the product. I also use the light linking feature to make the light affect only a certain collection where the product belongs to. Also, there's a similar light on the other side, but without a gradient. It's a good idea to add some variability to avoid a boring look. On the next step, I add another light source above and slightly behind the product to highlight the top part. It also provides a few very cool highlights on the other parts of the object, which was a bit surprising for me. There's a large area light directed at the gap between the main scene and the background, illuminating only part of the plane. As you can see, there's a considerable distance to prevent light from spilling from the background onto the product and props. The last accent in the scene is the rounded light with an HDR image texture in it to focus attention on the central part of the composition. I also used a default world with a bluish hue to fill in the shadows. Thanks to the Light Wrangler add-on, I was able to build all the gradients and customize the lighting setup pretty fast. If you want to learn more about one of the best lighting tools on the market, check out a link in the first comment. Follow me for more 3D tips.